creator friends. We're here at the library on a beautiful sunny day. I have some great books to talk to you about. These are about backyard and outdoor adventures. The first one I want to tell you about is for older kids. It's a chapter book or families. This is called Fable Haven. It's a classic one. It's about two kids that have to go and stay with their grandparents and they find out that the grandparents yard is enchanted with all sorts of magical creatures. So this is an awesome read and it's a whole series of books that you can read. Here's some more. The Little Green Girl by Lisa Anchin. This is a really fun new book in our library collection. It's about this little plant girl and how she wants to see the world. So her owner takes her all over the world, but she also finds that she really loves her own backyard as well. This is a great new book. Here's another great new picture book. It's called How to Catch a Clover Thief by Elise Parsley. This is a funny story about Roy the boar and Jarvis the gopher, and they are fighting over a clover patch. We will see who wins at the end. Check this one out. The last one I'm going to tell you about is a nonfiction book. It's based on the Boxcar Children series, and it's the Guide to Adventure. This has so many fun ideas about what you can do in outdoors and in your backyard. So come get this one too. These are some great books. Also, we've got some great Minute to Win It's that you can try outside in your own backyard. Come on and we'll show you how to do them. Okay, we have two really fun Minute to Win It cup activities for you to do. So I'm going to show you the cup and popcorn one. That's the first one we're going to do. So you need two styrofoam or plastic cups. What you're going to do is poke a hole with scissors or something, yeah, scissors or something sharp on each side. And then take your scissors and cut a slit down to the hole on one side and then on the other side. Okay, so you have two slits. Now you take an elastic, we have quite a large elastic, and you put it down the slit till it catches in the hole. There, like that, see? So that's what it's gonna look like. Now we're gonna take some tape and put tape on each side so the elastic doesn't come out tape over top of the slit right there another one over on the other side okay so you're going to do that with two cups and then we'll show you how to play the game all right for this one you need two bowls or containers and some popcorn mmm that smells so good okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into a team or you can just do it as a race yourself so you put the full bowl of popcorn down close to the lineup of team members and then put the bowl at the end of the race so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put Put your pop or put your cups on your feet like this, and then you have one person on your team. Put it filling up the popcorn, putting it on the in the cups. So they're full of popcorn, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna run down to the bowl and try to try not to spill your popcorn and dump it into the bowl. Okay, on your marks, get set, go! Oh, ah! <laughs> And then you run back and you tag the other person and then their turn, they have a turn running down. It's really fun, you try not to spill popcorn, but sometimes you do. And it's just one fun game that you could play with a team or with your family. It'll be a great time. Okay, now let's go to my house and I'll show you another fun cup minute to win it game. Hey everyone. We have a really fun minute to win it game you can do in your backyard. All you need is two buckets or containers and some cups. 
So what you do is you get in a line right in front of each other and there's one bucket full of water at the front and one at the back of the line and then what you do is scoop water out of the front, pour it, take it over your head and the person behind you is going to hold up their cup and fill their cup and then they're going to do it all the way down the line until you fill up the back bucket and you see how fast you can do it or you can do it as a team game and see who can fill up their bucket first. As you can see, it turns into a water fight at the end. Super fun! Oh. <laughs> a boar's patch of clover, but in the end, who wins? And if the clover thief is cat.